Nobody before 1998 trusted anybody else. DNR wouldn't trust MPCA to go check a water quality. Nobody trusted anybody. Today we're out sampling. Normally we do this once a month, spring to fall. Sometimes even when it's snowing or raining. Since 98, we've taken it to the point we got river watch and the school kids taking the water quality samples and everybody believes it, that they are right. And they are right. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're learning hands-on science, uh, field work. River watch happens mostly in the Red River Valley. And right now we are working with Boydu Sioux Watershed District, and it actually happens in other watershed districts too. You know, we, this all the way down we have our water depth and distance from the bridge, so the top and then the bottom readings. They learn watershed benefits and they have fun. We test for pH levels and turbidity, and we have conductivity. We take the samples of water. And we put them in the sucky tubes so we can visually see how far we can see down in the water. There are four schools in the Waiju Suwadisha district and they go out at different times all collecting data from different sites. We record the visual like how muddy you think the water is just by eye and vegetation and if there's a lot of weeds growing or duckweed you just note all the vegetation growing in the water and along the banks. Sometimes we know wildlife, if the animals think the water is good enough to be around there. They're the ones providing the science. The school kids are doing it. I think it's one of the greater things that's happened in the valley. There's no dispute on the information. They collect the data, um, they write down observations, uh, they analyze the data, and they report it. They share it with a watershed district. It goes into a database, a state database, where it is used in assessment. And um, last year, MPCA was doing assessment, and with this data that the students have collected and added to what professionals like me would do, it just made it complete because you've got so much data, so it makes your results more robust. For them to know that this is real information, it's not, it's not something done for pretend or a demonstration in a laboratory, it's we need to know what's happening in our world, and we're part of of getting that information. It's understood that these adults really want to hear what they have to say. They want to know what the kids have experienced, what they found. There's this competition where all the schools in the Red River Valley meet up in Kirkston where they have the farm. And I was up in Kirkston representing the Red Board. You people are up there and I mean you make the watershed proud so you've done a lot of good work and the floor is your here, I'll hand out some drafts from our tile drainage research. Mm -hmm. They won. They did so great in understanding and actually put in the poster together. And the students, they work, I mean, preparing for their forum, working on the poster, they work really hard on it. We stop at school and they're there 4.30, almost 5 o'clock, and they're still at it. And you don't even see that in college students. So these are students that have great devotion. Water is a big thing around here. I mean, we flood, we farm. This is just a giant farming area, so it's very important to everybody. The kids are coming out with reports. They're starting to give us nitrogen figures on areas that have more tile than others. So we spend less time fighting over the information and more time figuring out what we're going to do with it. They're learning about a lot about their own watershed district, the local watershed district, and they're going to tell their friends, um, their, their parents, grandparents, about what they're learning. And it helps so much more because the, the learning experience does not end with them. 